Electric Square recently released their arcade racing game on Apple Arcade, Detonation Racing. Today, we're going to have a quick look at how it performs on a range of Apple devices, and a bit about the game's history, I suppose. If you're a member of my Patreon page, you can check out a written interview I did with Nick Harper, the game director at Electric Square, about this game. Link in the video description. Detonation Racing is a fantastic console racer on Apple Arcade. We don't have many of these type of games on the service, at least on the scale of this one. Sonic Racing was nowhere near as polished as it should have been. Super Impossible Road had a fantastic concept, but a very casual tone. Speed Demons was fun and hectic, but for me, was hard to play on mobile devices due to having too much on the screen. And while Warp Drive almost hit the mark, it lacked content and variety. Electric Square are not new to racing games. Some of the team developed Split Second back in the day. It was an intense action racing game set within a reality TV show where you could explode the track in an attempt to destroy other cars and reach the finish line. Detonation Racing shares a lot from this game in terms of its visual style, explosions and cars, but it has a much more structured and arcade tone. It's not the team's first racing game on the App Store as well. These two games definitely had their drawbacks with being free, and Forza Street was quite disappointing for me with its one button mechanic. While Detonation Racing has some casual aspects to it, and a narrative presentation that you'll notice is familiar to other mobile type games, it doesn't have any of the drawbacks that come with freemium titles, such as an energy system, ads, paid cars, paid DLC, and so on and so on and so on. The game comes included with a campaign mode with 9 episodes, an online and local multiplayer mode, sadly missing local split screen, custom arcade races, a garage where you can upgrade and change the skin of your cars, and a really good implementation of leaderboards. According to Nick Harper, the game director at Electric Square, they know most of you will be playing on your iPhone using touch controls, so they spent months fine-tuning the input and handling to make it as smooth as possible. A clean user interface for touch was important, so cars will auto-accelerate, and brake functionality is limited so you can get past the explosions more easily. That being said, if you play with a controller, these settings are disabled, and you have more freedom on how you operate your car. It's a massive shame that the game doesn't have vibration on iPhone, or more importantly, controller rumble support. Both of these would have been fantastic for, let's say, explosions around the map. I hope this can be added at some point because it would be really great and make the game more immersive. Detonation Racing was made in Unity 2020 and supports the Metal Framework like every other game on Arcade. It's great to see a 3D game like this one using Unity, as most games on this calibre are powered by Unreal Engine on Arcade. The game supports Unity's visual effect graph, so it has VFX from motion blur, ambient occlusion, bloom, depth of field, and so on. Even with these so-called advanced settings, to be completely honest, the game looks like a PS3 or Xbox 360 title, which is unfortunate in some ways, and sadly has a 30 FPS cap. If a game like Asphalt 9 from 2019 is able to play at 60 FPS consistently, even on old devices, this game should be able to handle this high FPS too, at least on an Apple M1 based Mac, or a recent iPad Pro, or iPhone. After testing the game, I found for the best performance, you'll want to play Detonation Racing on a recent Mac, like uh, an Apple M1 based Mac, or one with a dedicated graphics chip. Or an Apple TV 4K second generation works really well too, for 30 FPS, surprisingly. On these devices, the FPS will drop 
around 1 to 2 FPS from 30. It's just really strange that mobile devices have the worst performance right now, as the frame rate can drop into the low 20s at times. Even on an iPhone 12 Pro, an iPad Pro with the M1 chip, it is still getting below 30 FPS. Electric Square told me their goal was always to target 30 FPS in order for the resolution and level of detail to be scaled appropriately to ensure they achieve similar performance no matter what device you're playing on. I get this, I do, I get it, but the low resolution is really noticeable on devices with large displays. Take an Apple TV, Mac or iPad Pro for example. Whereas if you're playing on, let's say an iPhone, like my iPhone 12 Pro, because of the smaller display, you're not really going to notice the lower resolution. I think all of this could be avoided if the game offered custom graphic options on the main menu. Allow us to raise the resolution and graphics quality and perhaps add an optional 60 FPS mode. I hope these are added in a future update, please. Have you played Detonation Racing on Apple Arcade yet? If so, how far through the campaign are you? What do you just think of the game overall? Do you even care that it is only running up to 30 FPS? Are you more looking forward to Asphalt 8 coming to Arcade soon? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this performance review, leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple Arcade related. My name's Stewie and thanks for watching.